All right. Sometimes you are required to have a second derivative. Which means that you have to differentiate it twice. So you might see something like this, which we call it f double dash x, or you can see something like that. So we call it d two x dx square, which means that you differentiate twice. So for example, given x square minus five x square, sorry, f x equals two. That looks better. Wait, fine. Double dash. So all you need to do is you just differentiate it. But I do not like it the denominator. So what we're going to do is we change it to the look we like. So we have that become minus five x negative two. Now we all feel better. I feel better. I don't care about you now. So I feel better with it. So I can differentiate the first time, which become two x minus five times negative two x negative three. All right, fix it a little bit. We have two x minus plus ten x negative three. There's a negative there. All right, then we can differentiate a second time to go with the question required. Double dash will be become two x become two plus ten. Leave it there and then take the negative three down. X negative four. That should be the answer, but I will fix it a little bit because I do not like it. So it becomes minus plus we get minus thirty on the top and x to the power four at the bottom, and this is our double dash. Sometimes they will have a more nth time different derivative, so you will see if we will instead of dash 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 to the n, so instead of that we will just like four x. That means that it differentiated four times, and similarly for the differentiating for the d bit, we got d four y d x to the power four. All right, just looks like this. Make sure the little four goes smaller. So let's have an example with there. So we have I get a new piece of paper. So for example, if we got f x equals to cos two x, make me feel better. Now fine. F four x. So all you need to do is differentiate it four times. So let's get it started. So first time we performing the chain rule. So two cosine become negative sine two x, and then the second time we do this second time with that negative two. Leave it there, and then two in the front sine become cosine. Two x. Yep. So it become negative four cos two x, and one more time. Ah,、uh, two more times actually. Then three times. I got negative four leaving there, and then minus five by two cosine become negative sine again. So I have negative positive eight sine two x, and then finally the fourth time. Because to a leave it there, and then I have become I have the two outside, and then I have cosine sine become cos. So we got sixteen cos two x there. 